So the next thing that we're going to add will be the BLM land data. And we can do that by clicking on Add, Image Overlay, BLM Land Status. Click on Refresh. And again, let's change this view bound to 1. WS Parameters. So now we're going to look for, there's Geolocator. I think it's up near the top. Yeah, it's actually at the bottom. All right, so we want to pick the very last one. And then you just want to add all these to the, to the map. Apply. Okay. Don't we want to put that re-aspect at the end again. Ampersand re-aspect equals true. All right, everything's set right. Click OK. We're actually going to turn off the topples off. So I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit here. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, let's give it a second to think about it. All right. And again, you can change the transparency. Make sure you highlight the layer. Change transparency the way that you want it. And there you go. So we have talked about creating a hybrid map by adding topographical data, changing the transparency. We've also added BLM land status. Next couple things that we're going to do will be to add the Colorado hunting units, and then we'll add elk summer concentration areas for your enjoyment. To do the first, the hunting units, go to this website. You want to click on Colorado Units 2010 KMZ. That might take a second for uh, for you to download this as it is about an 8 meg file. Once it's downloaded, Google Earth will go ahead and open it and display the data on your screen. Now, turn it on. So you see the boxes are empty. So click on uh, that and then it will go ahead and populate the screen. So that's how you add the hunting units. You can see there's other unit information in this subdirectory and uh, that will continue to expand as I have time and interest uh, to convert these files over from what DOW provides into something that Google Earth can use. Now, next thing we're going to add is the Colorado Summer Elk Concentration. We'll click on that and once again Google Earth will open it by default if you have it installed. Enable that, and we'll actually change the transparency a bit there. Right. Let's go back up to our starting point. Let's double click on it. There, so I'm actually going to zoom back out of touch. Oh, wrong way. Zoom back out of touch. All right. So this is the summer elk concentration inside of the Rocky Mountain National Park. And then if you want to find out where the production areas are, where they dropped your caps, you can click on that elk production areas. And of course, turn that on and change this transparency down to about 50%. Go back up to our starting point. And let's see here. So there you have... Elk. This is where they calf, normally drops your calves. This is where they hang out during the summer. Um, what you might want to look for is an area that um, has these two close to each other, say like up here. So you have a capping area in the middle and then concentrations around the edge there. So if you drive up here along uh, this highway, you'll actually see those elk all over the place up in there. So that concludes a brief tutorial on how to use Google Earth to map scout here in Colorado. Good luck this year.